Um, hi, everybody. I'm Lila Green. I am the training coordinator with Gateway Pet Guardians. Um, that means a couple different things. First and foremost, I'm on the training team. Um, so I work with some of our unicorn and other behaviorally quirky dogs. I probably my primary responsibility is I run the training act email training at gatewaypets.org. That is the email that we give to all fosters to contact if their foster dog is having any any behavior issue, um, something as kind of minor as a little bit of leash reactivity to something much more major like stranger danger or resource guarding. Um, so that takes up a lot of time. It's also a really good resource for our adopters. Some of our adopters actually will contact the training email if they need advice on their, usually it's newly adopted dog, but sometimes it's a dog that they've had for a while. Um, and that helps minimize some of our returns because I can give them advice or connect them with a trainer or whatever they need to hopefully ensure that they can keep that adopted dog and not have to return it to Gateway. Um, I also work a lot with the unicorn dogs before they're in the unicorn program. Um, usually the way that we identify a dog will be in the unicorn program is they have had a lot of behavior quirks. So they that foster has been in contact with the training email pretty substantially. Um, and then we determine that they need an evaluation and should maybe get added to the program. I have been in this role for probably around two years now. Um, I used to volunteer, still do, I used to volunteer a lot at the shelter walking dogs and was a shelter guardian for our quirky dogs before we had a unicorn program. We called them unicorns. Um, so Brittany knew that I was comfortable <laughs> working with harder dogs. Um, and I knew how to run play groups and do dog introductions. So I had um, some dog savviness, I guess. And that led well to a role that involved training. Um, but really it's a job that anyone can do. When I first started the training coordinator role, I would Google um, what to do if your dog is showing this behavior. If I didn't know kind of what resource to give them. And now that our training program is a lot more established and I have more experience, um, I can offer better advice. But starting out, it's definitely something that any volunteer can do as long as they're willing to learn and willing to work with some of the unicorn dogs.